All right, when we left off, we were using this wonderful tool in Illustrator called the Curvature Tool. I call it the Freehand Pen Tool because the whole point of it is to, to kind of be able to draw as you go. But the problem is, as we were using it, kind of plotting and then changing the path and getting the curb we want, plotting, changing the path, getting the curb we want, Right. The problem was it started to block out my sketch underneath. And so how can I stop that? So I'm going to delete that. And instead of having it filled in with black, I want you to look at these settings. These settings are different than Photoshop. In Photoshop, it's foreground color, background color. In Illustrator, it is fill color and stroke color. And you have an option to have a red bar go through them. A red bar means that they are empty, that there is nothing there. So I'm going to actually change my fill color to a red bar, which means when I use this curvature tool, this freehand pen tool, it will show me what the path is in red. Right? And then later I will fill it with black. So what's so great about this curvature tool when you're using curves is that you plot it and then you can change it and manipulate it in real time. Like I can add another curve in there. And then if I hold down shift, I can have it not suggested by the other, the curves before, and I can change the direction. Right? So this is kind of previewing it as I go. And then I can always add to it. And it's just a slightly easier um, pin tool to use. The problem is everything's going to look really curvy, which for my design works fairly well but it depends on what you're doing. So how is this different than the regular pen tool? Let me close that up. So now that's an empty path. I can fill that with black at any time. And it's perfectly clean, right? And then I can always cut out from it too. So let me make that an empty path and then just delete it. Use the large selection tool, hit delete. Okay, now with the regular pen tool, how can I do it? I can click and now I've let go, right? And now I'm going to find where I think I want that curve to be. And it's not going to preview it for me like the curvature tool. Instead, I click and I hold and I drag. And I drag until it's the curve I want or close to the curve I want, which I'm not going to quite be able to get. I was a little too ambitious. And then I have a secondary curve, and I have to deal with that before I can go to the next curve and deal with that. Right? And at any time, I can edit and delete anchor points, and I can grab these handles and modify anchor points, but it's kind of a, a mess. It takes practice to use. And there are lots of pin tool, tool tutorials. So the other tool I like, you'll find that's not as common. And you'll find it under the paintbrush, three down in the drawer. It's called the pencil tool. Now, before you use the pencil tool, which seems really straightforward, like in vector.com, you can just draw with it. So I'll cut it off here. And I'm using my tablet. And then you close it off, right? What's great about it is it will plot anchor points for you, which you, then you can fill with black. And then you can simplify it by redrawing areas. So this isn't great if your logo is made all of perfect circles and perfect squares and perfect rectangles. But if it's made of a lot of curves, this can be really, really helpful, especially with a lot of subtleties of shape. And what was the challenge of this design? These shapes are incredibly subtle. 
because they're organic, it's not going to look like a cat if the tail has different thicknesses, right? It has to kind of make sense. So with the pencil tool, and any time I can hold down shift, click off of it, um, you can see kind of how clean this is. And then I can add to it at any time just by starting on the path and then extending it. So I really love the pencil tool. It's my favorite tool in Illustrator. But honestly, it's not what a lot of professionals use. They prefer the pen tool or the curvature tool. And it just depends how you want to work. And I just did all that and it it didn't draw on the path, and this is why. This is so frustrating. A lot of frustrating things about Illustrator. I have to use the large selection tool or the small selection tool, better the small selection tool, so I can actually see the anchor points before I can extend them with the pencil tool. So you start on the path and end on the path. in order to get your shape. And remember, your shape can always be modified. So you just get one to start with. And while you're drawing it, you can start with an empty path. You can just put a red crossbar through it so you're just seeing the edges. Now, this is my favorite thing about the pencil tool. Not only that you can redraw, but that you can double click on it and you can set it to be either smoother or more accurate. So when my logo, I want it to be really smooth, I might go towards the smooth. And that's going to smooth out my curves as soon as I draw them. Why is Illustrator such a popular professional program? It's because even if you have limited drawing ability, it can make everything look really clean. It's like auto-tune for your lines. Or your shapes. Now, why do professional graphic designers like the pen tool more? The pen tool allows you to, to make it so you don't have a lot of extra anchor points that are fussy. But all of these things can be manipulated. But why I love the pencil tool is if I'm trying to match the curve of my sketch, all I have to do is start on the path and end on the path. And I can set it to be perfectly smooth when I do it. And it will do what I'm telling it to do with my hand with as few anchor points as possible. Now let's say I want even fewer anchor points. Well, then there are tools like the smooth tool, which they have taken out of the main toolbar and you have to add back in <laughs> unfortunately that that happened with the last version of illustrator so i add the smooth tool which looks like this it's like a little corkscrew pencil i add it into my brush options so i have the pencil tool and the smooth tool and the smooth tool you use kind of like the pencil you go over your your lines, but what it does is it will average it out. And largely they, they got rid of this tool in the toolbar because they have the curvature tool. And there's things like uh, you can take a path and you can go to object path and then smooth. And then you can work on smoothing it out entirely. Again, it's like auto tune for your drawing to make it perfectly clean. But there are problems with that because I don't only have curves. I also have some straights. So I like the pencil tool because then I can go in and I can actually draw in that hard edge and modify it. And then at any time, fill it in with black. Okay, once I see the anchor points like this, then I can use the pencil tool. I can start on the path and then continue on it. And cut out a new shape. Right. 
and add to it. I can empty the path so I can see what that did, and I can see how I want to modify that. So I can start on the path. You can see it's already super smoothing my lines because I have it on that setting. And that's where I might want to set it to be more accurate rather than smooth for this foot. Because again, the challenge of this logo design is the subtlety of these organic shapes. But then if I fill it in with black, there we go. And I can turn off my sketch at any time and just see what that looks like as kind of a clean black logo. Okay. All right. We'll continue this, and I'll show you how I can punch out the eye, you know, in Wednesday's class. We'll just be working with Illustrator, and I'll be helping you individually figure out the best approach to how to build the vector in Illustrator for you. And that will be next time. I'm going to save my work. I would recommend you save yours. And I'm going to save it onto my computer with my name and assignment four, just like you would save from Photoshop. But instead of a PSD file, we save it as an AI file. And I'll put these videos up into our class YouTube. Yes. It's just a little bit of trouble that I'm having with my 